Hey guys, my name's Sam Philp and I'm here on beautiful Lizard Island. Now, I'm here for 10 days on the Lizard Island study tour. I'm one of the two teachers and we've got 13 students with us here. Um, and we've got 10 days here on Lizard Island, exploring, looking around and enjoying everything there is marine and coral reef. Now Lizard Island is found about 100 kilometers from Cairns. If you hop on a plane, which we did, takes about an hour. So we got over to Lizard Island on Sunday. Today is actually Tuesday, so it's day two. So we had a whole day yesterday. Uh, we went to a beautiful coral reef, which was um, the, the first one that we went to was the Clam Gardens. The second one we did for the day was Horseshoe Reef. So I've got some clips here. I'm gonna plug some of them in so you guys can see how we went with that. Um, as it was the first couple of snorkels we did, the kids were just kind of figuring out what kind of um, equipment worked for them and getting their masks and snorkels all fitted. There were huge gig giga clams or giga clams, which are the gigantic ones. And there were some that were over a meter from one side to the other of these clams. There was a whole variety, four different species of them. Um, some, of come, some of the kids saw some turtles, some sharks, some rays. Um, so it's been really good so far. So I'll shoot you back to those clips now and hope you enjoy and I'll catch up with you guys later on. So Lizard Island is in fact a research station, Lizard Island Research Station, that is based here on Lizard Island. The Lizard Island Group incorporates another three smaller islands that you can find um, within swimming distance if you're a good swimmer. Um, but of course it's set up for researchers from all around the world that come here. Now from my understanding there's been thousands of scientific papers published here from different scientists. And I'm going to swing you around just to see some of the facilities they have. Um, set up they're not really running because we are actually the first group to come in and there's only one small group of um, international researchers here so have a look <laughs> Cranathorn starfish. There's two of them in here. Now these are absolute reef destroyers. They eat coral, primarily coral. And there was an outbreak a couple of years ago that absolutely decimated some of the coral reefs around here. Um, I haven't seen any yet, so fingers crossed. But when the outbreak, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna swing you around. Go into the accommodation now. Get all these students on camera. It's raining. Five or ten minutes. Um. This is Mel. <laughs> Mwah. Hi. Full 4K. <laughs> Some of the students just enjoying morning tea. <laughs> this is the kitchen set up here. So we cook and clean everything all ourselves. Swing you around. This is half the accommodation. Hey. <laughs> 
the room there, room there, and a room down the end. Compost toilets. Yeah, good idea, where are they? Are they still in here? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh yeah. Two big hairy huntsmans. Hopefully he doesn't jump on me. The one in the corner. Disgusting. A compostable toilet. Big hole. How oh, good. <laughs> There we go. You're on a vlog, Riley. Hey, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another whole building like this. There's two of them. All the rest of them are in it, but I'm gonna sign off for now. These are the showers. <laughs> Cold and warm water. We're sport for choice here. And I'll take you around. This is all our gear. This is boat prep before we go out. See, stuff hanging up. Look at this. Nice and clean. Tuck it in tubs, put it on the boat, and we're good to go. today which was awesome had some fun so we were looking at um, fish abundance coral cover and rugosity which is the complexity of the reef so the up and down parts and all the boulders so we did that for six transects on one of the reef Watson's Bay reef um, it was pretty incredible saw an octopus a whole bunch of beautiful clownfish it was great fun and now we're home for a shower and lunchtime <laughs>